Hey, what's up everyone? Dan Ann here, and I'm going to make a video on how to add CPS3 ROMs to HackG2. I'm also going to show you how to add arcade box art, as well as the differences between child and parent ROMs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have already downloaded the most popular CPS3 game I know of, Street Fighter 3, Third Strike. And so here's the file, SFIII3. I'll go ahead and drag that into HackG2. And again, you'll get this prompt with a bunch of files in it. You're not going to click on any of these files and click OK. You're going to click on Import as Archive. And once that has been imported, you'll go ahead and see that it's here. SFIII3. We'll go ahead and change that to Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Okay, so we changed the name. All right, and so the difference between CPS2 ROMs and CPS3 ROMs is the command line, obviously, but it's very simple. The only thing that you would need to do is take out the forward slash zip, change that to FBA, and that's it. So bin forward slash zip to bin forward slash FBA. Make sure that you have a space, okay? And if you want to go ahead and play that, you can go ahead and synchronize that to your SNES Classic and you're ready to go. However, I want to add box art to this, but not just any box art, I want to add arcade box art. So when I click on the Google button, it will come up with the home console versions of these images, but that's not what we want. What we want is arcade box art. And so you can actually go to Google yourself and type that out, copy it, download it to your downloads folder, then browse the selection and then add the box art there. But an easier way is just to type out arcade in the name and then hit the Google button and that's it. So here is the arcade box art. Double click on that and you're good. Just make sure to get rid of the arcade at the end. I mean, you can leave it if you want to, but I take it off. I'll go ahead and add, this is the two player game and publishers Capcom. And finally, I could play this game right now if I wanted to, and that would be it. But there's a specific Street Fighter 3 Third Strike version that I believe is the definitive one and what everybody plays within the tournaments. That is the 990512 version. And so here we have a child ROM and a parent ROM. So you're going to need to download, obviously, the child ROM, which is the 990512 file. And that would be this file here, SFIII 3 and R1. And so what you're going to need to do is to copy that file and open up this file, WZNCB, and then paste it in there. And that's it. You then need to change this to that file name. So it's SFIII3NR1. And make sure that this points to that file. Otherwise, it's just going to run the base file and you've done all that for nothing. Okay, so what is the difference between a child and a parent ROM? Usually a parent ROM is the main file that the ROMs work off of. And then the child ROM is the additions, tweaks, or changes to that ROM. In this case, the SFIII3 version is the parent ROM. First off, the naming convention. The naming convention is smaller than the child ROM, which is usually the parent name plus an addition of letters and numbers, things like that, determining the version and the region of where it's coming from. So in this case, SFIII3NR1 is the Japanese version of Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. And the second way of telling the difference between these two, the file size. Let's go ahead and check out the file size. All right, as I hover over SFIII3, you can see that the file size is 67.3 megabytes. That's a pretty big file. And the child ROM is 7.98, which is relatively smaller. That's how you can tell the difference between a child ROM and a parent ROM. That's how you can tell the differences between those two. The parent's usually the bigger file and the child is fairly smaller and has a longer name. Let's go ahead and run this on the TV. Okay, cool. So here we are. We have Third Strike running. Let's go ahead and 
play that game. Let's see if we have the right version coming up. And you can usually tell with the ROM number if you did it correctly. All right, perfect, 990512. Looks like we have loaded the correct ROM. All right, it's playing. Nice. Nice. Okay, so let's start. Let's see if the controls are working. Looks like it's working fine. Perfect. Let's see if the Miss Select Chun Li. Perfect. Cool. So obviously this is the Japanese version as you can tell, but yeah. Looks like it's running. Let's see if all the buttons work. Ooh, nice. Okay, so it works perfectly. All right, so that's it for the video today. I appreciate you guys watching it, and I'm going to go ahead and leave some details below in the description. And if you haven't watched my previous video on how to add CPS1, CPS2, Neo Geo, and Konami Arcade ROMs, go ahead and check that video out. And if you like what you saw, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Good luck! And again, thanks for watching. <laughs>